Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Friday, November 11, 2022. Probably gonna see this on Saturday. Not sure when I'm gonna be able to get this up. But long story short, I posted a video. I'll link it below. I bought the biggest uh, bulk purchase I've ever bought, 125,000 sports cards, specifically hockey cards. Uh, I paid 12,500 with shipping. I paid 12 grand plus 500 to get them shipped from Pennsylvania to Florida, uh, or from New Jersey to Florida, excuse me. And um, so that's 10 cents a card in my pocket. I also bought a couple thousand top loaders and penny loaders, which uh, penny sleeves for shipping purposes. They cost me a few hundred dollars and I bought an auto scanner to put the cards in to scan through them, which I'll show you a video of as soon as it gets here tomorrow um, for scanning the cards front and back so I can do pictures super fast and get listings up hugely fast. Um, but anyways, a lot of people asked to see more of the cards. So I'm gonna go back, uh, I'm at my lagoon right now, but I'm gonna go back uh, to my house, to the garage where the cards are right now and film some of the cards and unboxing on the pallet and give you guys kind of an idea of what it looks like to buy a pallet with a huge amount of sports cards on it. Why not? Some people asked to see more, so let's go take a look. Okay, as promised, this is the pallet of uh, sports cards you guys saw me buy and cut open one of the boxes uh, yesterday or day before on the video. So this is part two, 125,000 cards. Um, basically what I thought I would do is, um, and I got the printer in today, the scanner, excuse me, that lets me scan these cards, is what I thought I would do is I could take a box, like one of these white boxes. Again, there's like hundreds of boxes. So um, anyways, I could take one of these boxes, which they've taped up pretty well. <laughs> um, and he's labeled a lot of these, but what I could do is um, run through these row after row after row and sort of sort the pile. Like uh, this one's not really worth anything. This one's worth, you know, $5 between one and five and then like five and $10 and $10 and up or whatever it's going to be. It's going to, you know, sort, 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 sort. And then I'll show you exactly what I bought and I'll kind of put like a little picture in picture or screen share or something of how it works. But I bought a scanner to once you have a pile, let's just say you have a pile like this big, <clears throat> you can take 10 or 15 cards and put it into the scanner and it'll just scan them through and all the pictures will appear on your computer screen instantly. So you basically, it takes one second per card. So all the photos are up and then you can make a template and you can copy and paste and you can list hundreds of cards a day. Um, you know, which means if they're only worth $9.99, it's no big deal because you're listing a hundred of them. So at a $10 card, you can list, you know, a thousand dollars worth of cards in a, an hour or two. And then you could do it for a couple hours and list a few thousand dollars worth of cards. I also bought a while back, which this is like twofold, really good. I don't know where they're at. I think they're in one of these boxes over here. I'd have to check. I'm pretty sure they're in one of these boxes. I bought 2000 postcards for like two or 300 bucks and they're from all over the world. So I'm going to show you guys this printer that I can take those postcards and all of these sports cards and run them through and then basically, uh, you know, just pump out listings and start turning this inventory over. But you guys can see there's one box, two box, three box, a smaller box, four full, five full, six full, and two on the backside, eight full boxes plus the half box and the box I already took upstairs. So there is a lot of cards to work on. All right, so this got shipped in today. This is a Canon Image Formula R40. And you can see, basically, it's like a printer scanner type, uh, document scanner, not a printer, excuse me, document scanner. And you can scan all these type of documents. But what you can do is you can push these two little things in and, and I'll put a little clip of it up, but you can stick the cards in here and it'll just spin them out and all the pictures literally pop up. I think this was like $250, um, give or take, but this was the best one. It, it runs um, at 80 IPMs, 40 PPMs uh, on the simplex and the duplex, which basically uh, gives you um, the double-sided scanning. And so that's pretty cool. It runs on Windows or Mac. I run a Mac. And... Um, it's really, really fast. So you can, you know, send it to Dropbox, to Google Drive, to your email, to folders, whatever you want to do, and it'll just pop right up. And it also has a really good resolution. So the cards get the exact resolution um, that you want out of them. So fantastic little machine worth 250. And it'll let us get all these pictures done in just a matter of hours rather than weeks and weeks. So that's the one that, uh, that I got. And I'll show you a little clip here. Let's take a look of exactly how it works. Next thing you do, very self-explanatory, there's a big old start button right here, and you click start. It takes a minute, and here they come. So as you can see how they're, they're firing out, I like to kind of get it closer, and then if they start binding up there, like that one did, I kind of like just like to help it. So I timed this, and at this speed, 
it's 35 cards a minute at this speed. 300 dots per inch. Now, 300 dots per inch, 35 cards in a minute equates to 2,100 cards in an hour, which, unless you're extremely fast, like I said, you know, with the way that I list cards, I can probably do 500 cards a day without issue. So that's literally like four days' work that you scan in an hour. Um, and, you know, just depending on what you do, how many people you have working for you, if you do, um, obviously you might want to scan some more. And, you know, it also depends on how fast they can list as well. So now what we're going to do, um, I'm going to bring the camera over and show you um, what it looks like. I'm going to actually feed them in, and then I'm going to scan just so you can probably still hear it when it's coming out. But you're also going to be able to see <coughs> that they do uh, show in real time. All right, guys, I could just do a screen share, but I figured this way it was 54 cards and you saw how fast we did that all right and so then once the cards have been scanned in and you have all the pictures and you can create your template and your listing and you're ready to store these away for inventory purposes now i just picked a random one i already have um a gretzky card in there but i'll have to label it but what you do is you take one of these penny sleeves here these little flimsy ones these were literally like not even one cent per card if you break it down to how many i bought and so this little guy will go inside of the penny sleeve first. Okay, just like that. And then you'll take the top loader, which I think these were a few cents, eight cents a piece, seven cents a piece per card when you buy like a thousand of them. And so then you will take the penny sleeve and it's probably best to, whoops, to put it in upside down so that it can't really fall out. But basically what you do, and I'm trying to do this one-handed while, <laughs> while filming, so it's not gonna be super easy for me to do. But normally it just takes a second. And so just like that, you can just slide this in and then you have a double protected card and you can just tap it in or whatever you have to do to get it to go all the way down. And your card is inside the sleeve and just like this Wayne Gretzky one. Now I could make this SKU number one and take a little sticky and stick on the hard case because they're not advertised coming with hard cases. That's kind of extra for the buyer so they can't complain about it. But I'll put a little sticky on here and put 001 and then a sticky on here and put 002 and a sticky on the next one, 003. And then they're gonna go in a box and they're gonna be in the box lined up just like this. So I can quickly flip through, grab the card that I need to ship, take it, pack it up and ship it out the door with standard shipping. And uh, we're all set. So that's pretty much how the entire process is gonna work. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. That's how we plan to list thousands of these cards every day. Um, basically run through hundreds and hundreds of them with the printer or scanner rather uh, to get the pictures up and then get them listed and do it a lot faster than we can. So uh, a lot of you know my eBay store. It's uh, Treasure Chest FL for Florida, Treasure Chest FL. Uh, I'll think it's linked below as well, but you can go visit the store if you're interested in any of the cards or anything else that I have. Feel free to buy them off of there or let me know. And over the next couple of weeks and months, you should start seeing thousands of these cards to go up. So if that's your thing, you can you know update it every day. We'll put new ones up every single day. And uh, that's pretty much where we are for fourth quarter. As always, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I appreciate you looking in, asking questions, using the comment section. It means a lot to me. And I do try to answer as many of them as I can if I don't answer it. Feel free to comment again or feel free to let me know and, uh, and I'll try to get you an answer to any questions that you have. Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Turn the thumb blue and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll see everyone next time.